All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown. All three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. And today, I am going to be showing you my entire Terry Brooks book collection. I've got it all right here. Probably one of my most cherished book collections amongst all of my book collections. You know, I got like five or six thousand books here in my library. And uh, it was Terry Brooks that started it all. If you've seen my review of The Sword of Shannara, I talk all about that. How, I, how, how Terry Brooks and The Sword of Shannara inspired me as a youngster to become a writer. And thus, I wrote my own books and all that. But you can find that in my review of Sword of Shannara. If you want to watch that review, just type in my last name, Durfee, and the Sword of Shannara into your YouTube search engine, and that review will come up. So let's get right to it. Let's just talk about the most important, the three most important books in this collection. I have everything... Pretty much everything Terry Brooks has written in hardcover here, most of them signed by the author himself, but these are actually the three most important books in my collection. And these are the three original paperbacks of his original three Shannara novels that I bought when I was a kid, and I've kept ever since then. Um, not only that, but uh, this is the uh, copy of The Sword of Shannara I bought with the very first book I ever purchased with my own money out of a bookstore was this book here. The very first fantasy book that I ever read of my own volition. And uh, like I said, look up my review of this book if you want to hear the story in greater detail. But what's cool about this book is not only have I kept this book, and I read this book probably 20 times as a kid. I read it two or three times a year. It was just my favorite book for the longest time. And uh, just the cover, the Hildebrandt cover, everything, just looking at it just sends me right back to that age and time in my life. And the cover, the Hildebrandt painting just sends chills up my spine. Even looking at it today, thing is, this is the bookmark that I used when I was a kid, when I first read this book. I've always kept this bookmark inside of this book ever since I was just a 12-year-old. So that is my prized possession of all of these wonderful hardcovers. I adore these three little paperback books probably more than all of the others combined just because these were, I read these things over and over and over. The Elfstones of Shannara with the great Daryl Sweet cover. And then, of course, the Wish Song of Shannara with another Daryl K. Sweet cover. These covers also super dope. But let's set those aside and let's get to the hardcovers. Now let's talk about some of the uh, more recent things he's done first. So, you know, I've got this, um, this book he wrote about how to become a writer, the things that inspired him to become a writer. I read that. Um, We've got a book of short stories that he's done. This just came out a couple years ago. I reviewed this book on the channel also. And his newest series, he's two books into this trilogy. I have not read these yet, but I eventually will. And it's The Child of Night and The Daughter of Darkness. Those look pretty cool. We'll get to those soon and read them. Um, don't know what they're about, but we'll find out. I'll probably read the whole trilogy and review it for the channel when the third book comes out. So let's talk about some of his other stuff here. I've got all of it. Let's go to his Magic Kingdom of Landover series. We've got this right here. There are six books in the Magic Kingdom of Landover series. We've got here book number one, Magic Kingdom for Sale with another great Daryl K. Sweet cover. I remember this one, this one I probably bought when I was pretty young too. I can't remember when this first came out, but I seem to have read it when I was a teenager. Book number two in the series, The Black Unicorn, another great Daryl K. Sweet uh, cover. 
Book number three in the series, Wizard at Large. I think that's a cover by Rowena Morrill. And Rowena did a lot of covers for like a... I think that's who it is. Yeah, she did a lot of covers of like the Robert McCammon horror novels and things. Then we've got Tangle Box, book number four in the series. A great, great cover by uh, Keith Parkinson. And then we've got The Witch's Brew, another great cover by Keith Parkinson. And then finally, the last book in the Magic Kingdom of Landover is The Princess of Landover. It was sort of a generic photoshopped cover. Not too thrilled with that. But the Magic Kingdom of Landover series, it's about a guy who, a Chicago lawyer who buys, he, he looks in a catalog and there's a Magic Kingdom for sale and he buys it thinking it's some sort of weird hoax or some sort of weird Renaissance Fair cosplay thing he's buying. It's actually an actual Magic Kingdom he gets whisked off to. And then let's talk about the Shannara series, which is his big, huge, magnum opus crowning achievement in life, which comprises the entire rest of the books I've got here. And there are um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 to 2, to 3, to 4, to 5, to 6, to 7, to 8, to 9, 30, to 1, to 2. 32 books in the Shannara series. So let's start from the beginning. The beginning of the series all the way to the end. Even though The Sword of Shannara was the first Shannara book he wrote, it falls right here in the series, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, the tenth book in the series. But anyway, I've got them all in chronological order, even though they were written at different periods. Anyway, so the first three books in the Shannara series, you wouldn't know it, but they're actually, it's actually his, um, I don't know what this one is called, the Running with the Demon series. This is called the, um, I, the, I don't know what it's called. Uh, but it starts with Running with the Demon. And it's got a great cover by Gerald Brom. And then Night of the Word is the second book in the series, and it's got another great cover by Gerald Brom. And then the third book in the trilogy is Angel Fire East. Another great, great one by Gerald Brom. Let's see. Uh, this is the, um, this one's signed, of course. Um, the, uh, so this is the beginning of the Shannara series. Although I would suggest not beginning with these books. I would start with the Sword of Shannara. But if you want to read the whole story from beginning to end in chronological order, these are set in modern day America, sort of like an urban fantasy. And we know as the Shannara series um, progresses, the, our Earth has there's some sort of apoc apocalyptic event that happens on the Earth. And then we kind of revert back to a medieval society with magic and stuff like that. But this is, this is the beginning of the series when Earth is like regular Earth. It's kind of like Stephen King-ish. Stephen King-ish horror urban fantasy. Then let's get to um, the Genesis of Shannara trilogy, which we've got right here. This gets this is a this is sort of the bridge. This this trilogy bridges the gap between our modern urban fantasy and then our straight medieval stuff that's coming. Um, and it starts with Armageddon's Children, and then second book in the Genesis of Shannara series is the Elves of Sintra, and the um, Gypsy Morph. And then we move into a little duology that he wrote called Legends of Shannara. And this is the Bearers of the Black Staff and the Treasure of Magic. And I think I might have one of these signed. I'm not sure. Anyway, and then we get to probably my favorite section of the Shannara novels. And it starts with the first King of Shannara, kind of a standalone novel in the Shannara universe. Again, I do have most of these signed by the author to me. Great, great Keith Parkinson cover. And then we get to, the, of course, the three most important Shannara books, which are The Sword of Shannara, which this, co this copy I actually have signed by, not only do I have it signed by Terry Brooks twice, but I've also got it signed by Greg and Tim Hildebrandt, who did the um, cover, again, we have the little pat paperback over here, my original paperback that I bought when I was a kid, and now they get a hardcover. 
course, we've got the Elf Stones of Shannara. Uh, these, of course, are signed also. The Wish Song of Shannara. And these three books are, for sure, my favorite Shannara books, in order. I do um, consider The Sword of Shannara to be my favorite. Wish Song of Shannara to be my second favorite. No, let's see. Yeah, Elf Stones, my second favorite. Wish Song, my third favorite. And then, I love this four book series here. It's probably next on my list of favorites. And that is the, um, let's see, what was this one called? The Heritage of Shannara series. The Heritage of Shannara four book series starts with the Scoins of Shannara. Uh, great, another great Keith Parkinson cover. These, of course, I got signed by Terry Brooks. The Druid of Shannara, another great Keith Parkinson cover. The Elf Queen of Shannara, another great Keith Parkinson cover. And the Talismans of Shannara, another great Keith Parkinson cover. And then we get this trilogy that follows that one. I mean, there's so many books in the Shannara, tril Shannara series, it's insane. This is the... Um, Voyage of the Jural Shannara Isle Witch. Second book in the trilogy, Antrax. You know, I'm not too fond of these covers that just look like kind of old Photoshop stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. The uh, Morgue War. And then we've got another trilogy. High Druid of Shannara trilogy, Jarka Russ. The High Druid number two, Tanaquil. High Druid number three, um, Straken. Again, these covers, they're just kind of like uh, computer-generated covers, really. And then uh, we still got more. We got a bunch of more trilogies here. We've got the uh, the uh, the Dark Legacy of Shinara. <laughs> three books in that one. And then this trilogy, it keeps going. It keeps going. Um, uh, the, the, the Defenders of Shannara. The Defenders of Shannara trilogy. That was a pretty good cover there. And then last, to finalize the entire Shannara saga, we've got this four-book set of books. And I have reviewed each one of these four books on the channel. This is the um, Fall of Shannara, the Black Elf Stone. These covers are pretty cool. Fall of Shannara, book two. The Scar Invasion. I really liked this series. They really tied everything up to the Steel Assassin. And the um, Last Druid. So that, my friends, is my entire Terry Brooks book collection. I love every single one of these books. Probably one of my favorite authors of all time and the main author that inspired me to write my own fantasy novels. Uh, without Terry Brooks, there would have been no, none of these books anyway. That's for sure. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video.